Good afternoon. Would everyone please turn off all their cell phones and electronic devices? Would County Clerk Annie Rabbit please come to the front of the auditorium to administer the oath of office to newly elected legislator James O'Donnell, representing the 21st Legislative District, and also his grandsons Hudson and James O'Hara. Would everyone please stand for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Would the deputy clerk please do roll call? Amo? Here. Anastakis? Present. Benton? Here. Berkman? Here. Honasek? Here. Benelli? Here. Russia? Here. Heaney? Here. Dillard? Here. DeSalvo? Present. Ekis? Here. Fagion? Here. Himes? Here. Chemnitz? Here. Kulisek? Here. O'Donnell? Here. Paduke? Here. Miscavige? Here. Sullivan? Here. Turnbull? Here. Vera? Here. Present Manager. Ladies and gentlemen, your first order of business today is to elect a chair for the year 2017. I will now accept nominations. Legislative Sullivan? Ladies and gentlemen of the Orange County Legislature, I'd like to take a moment to talk a little bit about the person I'd like to nominate for chairman. L. Stephen Brescia is a Renaissance man. His involvement in the county and his local community are unprecedented. It is something we all should aspire to do. He's old school, where a handshake is his word and he does what he says. The following list is just some of the things Mr. Brescia has participated with or worked to accomplish. Orange County Legislature, 23 years. Served on all eight statutory committees and many ad hoc committees. Orange County IDA member for 15 years and is actively involved in bringing economic development and jobs to Orange County. Chaired three statutory committees. Village of Mon Montgomery mayor for 27 years. Village of Montgomery trustee three years. Active member of the General Montgomery Day Committee. Helped form the St. Pat's Ramble Committee former Montgomery fireman and former Walden Rotarian, member of the UNICCO National of Newburgh, member of Goshen Historic Track Board of Directors. And one of my personal favorites, where I sit as the unofficial chair, he is a member of the unofficial Orange County Republican Italian Caucus. <laughs> most importantly to most of us, he's not just a colleague, but a friend. Fellow legislators, it is my privilege to place a nomination L. Stephen Brescia for Chairman of the Orange County Legislature for the 2017 year. Is there a second? Yes. Mr. Cheney, the name of L. Stephen Brescia has been presented as Chairman for the year 2017. Are there any other nominations? Yes, could I please? Yes. Um, it's my honor to second the nomination of L. Stephen Brescia as Chairman of the Orange County Legislature. 
I do this appreciative of his leadership, especially his efforts to bring us together as colleagues at monthly roundtables, where legislators, legislators attend on a rotating basis representing all parties and thus creating inclusiveness and an opportunity for open discussion and debate on topics that are of importance to the county. I want to recognize that as chairman, Mr. Brescia is willing to listen to all sides of an issue, allow it to move forward even if he may not completely agree, and through the process remain open to changing his own position. I respect his willingness to, on behalf of this legislature, stand up and fight when our position is in conflict with the position of the executive branch of county government. I know he will continue these efforts and find additional ways for this legislature to be a more effective body. His door is open to the business of this legislature with each of us. For these reasons, it is my privilege to make this second of the nomination of L. Stephen Brescia as chairman of the Orange County Legislature. Thank you, Legislator Cheney. Are there any other nominations? There being no other nominations, may I have a motion to close nominations? I cast one ballot for L. Stephen Brescia as chairman of the Orange County Legislature. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed? Aye. Deputy Clerk, please do roll call. Please indicate I if you vote for Russia. No, I do not. Ben? Aye. No. Apologize. No. Amo? Aye. Nagasakis? Yes. Benton? Aye. Berkman? No. Monasic? Yes. Benelli? Aye. Russia? Aye. Eni? Aye. Dillard? No. Isaba? Yes. Is? No. Fedium? Yes. Hines? Yes. Hamnitz? No. Ulisek? No. O'Donnell? Aye. Paduk? No. Eskevich? Aye. Sullivan? No. Turnbull? No. Hero? Yes. 13 eyes, 8 no's. Mr. L. Stephen Bresch has been elected as chair of the Orange County Legislature for the year 2017. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm pleased to announce that the Republican legislators in our deliberation regarding the selection of Majority Leader for 2017 have decided to continue with the proven leadership of Melissa Bonasek. Melissa continues to display all the leadership qualities we value in a leader of our caucus. She is strong but not rude, kind but not weak, thoughtful but not lazy, and humble but not timid. Her compassion, integrity, and ability to foster consensus building amongst our members have proven beneficial to us, our fellow legislators, and all the citizens of Orange County. Ronald Reagan is quoted as saying, the greatest leader is not necessarily one who does the greatest things. He's the one that gets the people to do the greatest things. Melissa definitely has this ability. So congratulations, Melissa, and I look forward to working with you and all our colleagues throughout 2017. Thank you. Thank you. It's my honor uh, to announce that the Democratic Caucus has uh, remained steadfast in our support for Matt Turnbull and that we're looking forward to working with the Republican Caucus and the Chairman in a spirit of bipartisanship and uh, we'll explain how quite soon. But Matt, uh, congratulations. We look, uh, we look with great positive energy 
to working with you to lead our caucus. Stremo. Thank you, even on. Here it doesn't work. Even though my caucus nominated me, I tried to reject it, but I couldn't get enough votes, so I have to do it, I guess. Uh, but I will remind Mr. Berkman that I'm willing to work with the Democrats, even though he's not willing to work with the independents. I think we should have a beer and you should buy. <laughs> would L. Stephen Brush's family please join County Clerk Annie Rabbit at the front of the auditorium for administration of the oath of office to the chair? Thank you. Um, first off, I'd like to congratulate James O'Donnell, Jimmy O'Donnell. Um, spent many years in county government on the other side of the house. Um, so now we, we welcome him to this side of the house, and I'm sure he's going to have a lot to offer. Uh, congratulations to the O'Hara boys who were here. I think they left. And Molly, for all you did. Um, you know, that we know that uh, that's Molly's dad, but you're Jim's daughter too, right? So, And she's with the mayor of... Uh, Ocean, Colorado. Thank you for coming. Thank you to my sister for holding up the Bible. Thank you to my friend um, Jim DeSalvo for nominating me. And thank you for allowing Barry Cheney to second. I know he was up all night, right? He thought it was it just a second and it was, uh, it was over with. But I don't have much plan to say, really. I just um, hope I know the county exec has an aggressive year planned. And I'd like us to try to work together as we have in the past. I still have an open door policy. Uh, one thing I will note, um, I've noticed, you know, it's an election year, and it's going to be deja vu all over again. We tend to get a lot of memorializations, and Chair Katie Benelli has an aggressive agenda on rules, and the rules agenda seems to get longer and longer each month. Um, I know memorializations can be important, and we're passionate about certain issues, but maybe some of those issues can be um, put out there on Facebook, Twitter, the newspaper, letters to the editor, or speeches in local districts, rather than through the the rules committee in the legislature because they do tend to take a lot of time and sometimes they, they go on deaf ears. But um, I ask that we just try to, to monitor them for the most part. Um, I, and I noticed that some legislators have a lot of questions. Those questions oftentimes can be asked before the committee meetings, before the regular sessions of the legislature. Um, you know, the county exec's office is available, Wayne Booth, Harry Poor. John McCary's available quite often. You can call him if you have questions. Commissioners, directors, um, county staff, they can answer a lot of your questions. And if you don't get those answers, then they should come to the statutory committee because th those personnel are available to all the legislators. You know, I mean, as long as we don't take too much of their time. And I just ask that you respect that instead of delaying the regular sessions and statutory meetings with delays because your questions aren't answered. And also, with the questions answered, when we have issues that come to committee, I'm going to ask that the questions be called sooner than later. Because some legislators never get their answers, their questions answered, it seems. And, you know, some of them are legitimate questions, but it just seems like we delay and delay and delay. 
and we don't get things done. So, you know, I'm going to be very aggressive at pushing things forward without too many delays. I'm going to try to do it respectfully, but, you know, we have a lot of issues out there, a lot of things to get done. The county exec plans for us to be in the new government center in October when you give your budget presentation, and I think we're on schedule. I'm going to give the presentation there. I'm not sure you're going to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> you're backpedaling a little? No, we're moving to IT. So we're, we're not, the yeah. people that are using, not to take too long, but the people that are using enough space, like the, the clerk, or we're spending a lot of time having uh, messengers, those are the type of things that we'd like to see moved in first to make mm -hmm. government more effective. But we hopefully will all be in by the end of the year, yes. Exactly. And we'll start working on plans for other uh, movements around the county. And, uh, you know, good things are happening. And the budget seems to be getting uh, under control a lot better. And that's another thing, the budget. I know legislators that retire, they, they start to do a forensic analysis of the budget and they get more involved in it because they have the time. But my, my perception of that is that you know, we as legislators do not need to be experts on the budget, and we certainly are. We need to put trust in our department heads and our commissioners. Those are the people, the commissioners are the ones that we co-appoint with the county exec. He presents and we, we confirm. You know, we need to trust those people. You can't say, you know, I'm not doing my job if I don't look at every little detail of the budget. At the state level and the county level, constituents don't expect you to be right in there in the nitty gritty of the budget. They just don't. At the village and town level, it's a little different story. But, you know, you, we don't need to get bogged down with, you know, we need, to, we need to vote for responsible budgets, balanced budgets that are below the cap. I wish the cap were the same as the states, but I mean, we, we need to vote for responsible, balanced budgets. That's what our constituents look for. And that's what I'm going to push for. And it's, it's no insult to anybody that they want to know more about the budget. And I'm glad the legislators brought it forth. Um, and we had the little session with Colleen, and we're going to have more sessions, Colleen. You're not retiring yet, right? Okay. She's only a, a month younger than me, so we're not ready to go yet. But, you know, we're open-minded to that stuff. We need to understand more conceptual things about the county budget in excess of $700 million. We don't need to get involved in the little nitty-gritty. We have to put some trust in our people. And, and that's all I have to say. So thank you for voting for me, most of you. And um, um, I will listen to all of you. So thank you again. So we're ready to go on to number one. Number one. Legislator Benelli, resolution adopting the legislative manual for the County of Orange and the rules of order and procedure for the Orange County Legislature as previously amended, pursuant to section 2.02A of the Orange County Charter, section 153 of County Law, and Article 2C1E, Article 3, Introduction, and Article 4E1A and B of said legislative manual. Second. Discussion? Yes, Jeff. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, well, we, well, we passed this today, I and mean, it's kind of a routine vote for us on all the prior years, and I, I'm confident it'll pass again, of course, today, probably unanimously. But I just wanted to give kind of a heads up to all the members of the legislature that uh, I have submitted some ideas of mine and some recycled ideas of others. Uh, into an agenda for charter reform and manual reform. And uh, it's kind of exciting to, for us to discuss this in, in uh, future meetings. I'll give this a report or this, this memo to you, Mr. Chairman, and you can assign it to the appropriate committees as is your charter responsibility. And, uh, but just to give you just a, a sneak preview about a couple of them, one idea is to actually reduce the size of the legislature Another one is to create a ninth statutory committee. Uh, talk about reapportionment, and we'll have a, a commission for reapportionment. Uh, power sharing arrangement on committees, and uh, a few others. An ombudsman or attorney, uh, inspector general. And uh, looking forward to having a, a vibrant discussion uh, with all of you, and hopefully we can uh, move forward with a reformed county government. And uh, Mr. County Executive, uh, when you give your speech at the new building, even if it's not done, I'll be happy to be in attendance. Thank you. Any further discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Managnus Dacus? Benton? Berkman? <coughs> Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? 
O'Donnell, Padoue, Briskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number two. Legislator Benelli, resolution establishing legislative calendar for 2017 pursuant to Article 2C1F of the Legislative Manual. Second. Any discussion? Is there a. Katie? I'm sorry. Legislator Benelli? Sorry about that. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and congratulations to you for your chairmanship for 2017. Best of luck. Um, resolution uh, agenda item number two, which is setting the legislative calendar for 2017. I would like to amend that to be consistent with what we did last year, which was to have an evening meeting on what would be May 4th, 2017 at 7 o'clock. July 6, 2017, at 7 o'clock, and the annual meeting, which is scheduled for October 5, 2017, to have that also at 7 o'clock. And I'd like to make that amendment. I'll second. Second. Okay. Chef? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I wish you the best of luck for this coming year with your retaining the chairmanship as well. Uh, I thank uh, Legislator Benelli for her bipartisan support here in listening to a long-standing uh, position of the Democratic Caucus led by Mr. Ekes in trying to uh, have greater access of our meetings to the general public. So I appreciate uh, both of those legislative leaders on this issue. Okay, further discussion? Yes. Chris. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman, and good luck to you in the coming year. Um, I would also like to second it, and I would also like to thank Katie, and uh, hopefully this will be unanimous, and so I'd like to uh, thank all the legislators for uh, scheduling evening meetings. Uh, to me, I only see it as a opportunity for more transparency and openness to allow those who cannot make the afternoon E uh, meetings to make an evening meeting. Uh, the numbers, uh, I, we, we've discussed this, numbers don't vary greatly. Uh, it does depend on the issues, of course, and what the attendance generally is. But I'm also hoping, now that I'm retired, that this makes it easier for the working folk here on the legislature, uh, that at least we give them a couple days where they won't have to leave work early, although some of them may like it. Uh, <laughs> they don't have to leave work early uh, for these meetings. So once again, I thank all the legislators sitting up here and I hope that this gets a unanimous vote. Thank you. Thank you. Legislator Sala. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm going to support the amendment, but I'd just like to go on record and say I do not think it has any bit of difference on what time the meetings are scheduled, be, be a 3.30 or 7. Meetings are topic-oriented, driven, and you can directly make a relation to attendance versus what topic's going to be on the agenda. Uh, the hotter the topic, the bigger the attendance. Thanks. I concur with you on that, by the way, but this is a good spirit of cooperation. God bless me. Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekes? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? O'Donnell? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Russia, 21 eyes. Okay, number three was a receiving file, you said? Okay, you just want to read it? We don't have to do anything with it. Do we have to sign afterwards? Okay, the legislators need to resign. Yes. Okay. Designation by members of the county legislature representing the Republican Party of newspapers to publish the concurrent resolutions of the state legislature and election notices to be published in 2017 pursuant to section 214 of county law. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Don't need roll call. Yeah, that's right. Number. We didn't really need a second either. I didn't think so. You, you threw me off, John. Okay, number four. Designation by members of the county legislature representing the Democratic Party of newspapers to publish the concurrent resolutions of the state legislature and election notice, notices to be published in 2017 pursuant to section 214 of county law. And number five. Designation by members of the county legislature representing the Republican Party of newspapers to publish all local laws, notices, and other matters required by law to be published in 2017 pursuant to subdivision two of section 214 of the county law. 
And number six. Designation by members of the county legislature representing the Democratic Party of newspaper, of newspaper to publish all local laws, notices, and other matters required by law to be published in 2017, pursuant to subdivision two of section 214 of the county law. And number seven. Legislator Bonelli, resolution designating the newspapers published within the county as official newspapers for the publication of all local laws, notices, and other matters required by law to be published in 2017, pursuant to subdivision two of section 214 of the county law. <coughs> Okay, yes, the desk is clear mostly. Yes, you can make a comment. I just have a comment about number seven, you got a Chairman. We got a vote on seven, I'm sorry. I'm just making a comment on seven. Okay. I just, it, you may notice that the Independence Party doesn't use newspaper. We're a little more hip, we use the internet. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> yes, roll call. Anasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Paduk, Biscevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Okay. Yes, Matt. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> so uh, I think an explanation is in order for the Democrats' vote on the chairmanship. Um, the chairman is well liked by uh, most of the people in the Democratic caucus. And, uh, However, we feel a responsibility to, um, and we believe in one person, one vote. We said the same thing last year, there's more Democrats in this county than there are Republicans, so we strive uh, to have at least some representation in the chairmanships and the statutory commit, uh, committee meetings. Um, uh, and what we asked for this year was, uh, we humbly came to the chair and asked him for uh, chairmanship for one of the ad hoc committee meetings, and uh, we didn't get that. Um, Mr. DeSalvo, in nominating the chairman, says he does what he says, but we don't think he, he does what he should do. Um, and Mr. Cheney he said he's willing to listen to all legislators. And sometimes uh, it seems to us that although he is the chairman representing all of the legislators, he tends to listen to the Republicans a little bit with, a, with, with both ears, and I think he turns an ear away from us. Government works best when power is shared by those committed to the principles of one person, one vote. This year, Democrats will be focused on adjustments to the charter that establish that as our primary principle. Democrats will continue to fight for an equal voice in debates on issues that affect the people of Orange County, all situations should look to the guiding principle to determine what the solution should be. In other words, we should do things that work that are based on the principle. We should live and let live, but not at the expense of others. In our quest for a stronger economy, we should look for quality jobs that do not sacrifice the environment or quality of life that is important to our citizens. All growth is not progress. We're entering, entering a campaign cycle that will stress these principles and pre present our case for control of desirable growth, transparency and ethics in government, and a strong commitment to strategies that help our small business owners. With a strong economy and a cash cow that moves, moves loudly down the road, we should abide by fiscal conservative principles that share revenues with our municipalities while reducing spending at every turn. Democrats look forward to working across the aisle, I mean across the stage in this case, to continue to get it right. We got Valley View right. We did better with the Orange County Government Center than we would have done if we had uh, taken the building down and put up a new building. Both issues required many debates and investigations to get us to the final product. Those debates and investigations featured Orange County Government at its very best whether it was discussions in the statutory committee or the special investigatory committee, at least on the big issues, the most important issues, Democrats spoke loudly, and the winners were the people of Orange County. The Democratic Caucus is an eclectic group. We rarely have a unanimous voice, and discussion can be heated. But on the more important issues, we tend to be unified, and we do get it right. I'm grateful for having been selected to lead our caucus again, and I look forward to a year of rigorous debate with prodigious results. Thank you. Thank you.
I didn't know the p political season was starting today. But, you know, I, I've let a couple of those comments go in the past, and I'm just going to respond to a couple of them real quickly, or very quickly. Um, I don't agree with you on the government center. I think when the final bill is tallied, I think it's going to be more than the $75 million that we, we should have voted on back in May of 2012, as I told you yesterday in my office, Matt. Um, what I like to see is quid pro quo. I don't like to see giving too much and get, not getting enough in return, and I've seen that a few times. And you keep bringing up about the Democrats have a slight majority in the county of Orange. Well, let me tell you something. There's 20 town boards in the county of Orange, and probably 16 or 17, or 16 or 17 of them are controlled by Republicans, Republican majorities, and one city council at Port Jervis. And that city even voted for Donald Trump in the last election. So don't keep giving me that the Democrats don't have enough representation because your message is not getting out there if 18 town, 17 town boards out of 20 are controlled by Republicans. So we can sit there. You want to play this dance? We'll play this all year. You know, I just think that was uncalled for. But enough said. I'll entertain a motion for, for adjournment. Yeah, we're going. To, Republicans are going to caucus right afterwards. Motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Second. Second.